Okay, today I'm going to be doing the elephant toothpaste experiment in my vacuum chamber. Okay, so if you've never seen the elephant toothpaste experiment before, it's actually pretty easy to do. All it takes is some 35% hydrogen peroxide and some sodium iodide. And basically the sodium iodide just acts as a catalyst to break down the hydrogen peroxide into oxygen. And you have to be careful if you do this experiment, which I don't recommend you do, that you don't let the hydrogen peroxide get on your skin because it will oxidize it and it becomes very hot during the reaction. So let's try it out. Okay, so first let's get some hydrogen peroxide, then mix in some soap with it. Let's color it green just for fun, since it was just St. Patrick's Day. Okay, now let's see what happens when you pour it in here. Three, two, one. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> then if you get a container with a smaller opening on top, you can really get it to shoot out. Whoa! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That, look at that. That's just coming out still. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> so as these gases form, they're expanding against the atmosphere. So now we want to see what would happen if I take away the atmosphere from around them. Let's see how fast it actually expands in a vacuum chamber. So you can see how much it heated up this water bottle, how it shrunk it and melted the plastic. Okay, I've got my sodium iodide up here and I've got my hydrogen peroxide down here colored blue. Let's get it under vacuum and then see what it looks like when I pour it in. Okay, elephant toothpaste in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. <laughs> Okay, we're at half an atmosphere. Let's let it go a little bit more. You can see the dissolved air starting to come out of it. Okay, we're almost to full vacuum. As soon as this starts bubbling, I'm gonna just pour it in. Less than 0.1 atmospheres, let's pour it in and see what happens. Three, two, one. Whoa. Oh, it popped off the lid. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so that's interesting. It didn't go much faster than in regular air. And I'm guessing is because the reason that the bubbles don't expand quicker than this is not due to the pressure on it, but due to the rate of generation of the gases. And so just because it's in a vacuum chamber doesn't make it generate the gases quicker or make the catalyst reaction happen quicker. So it didn't go quicker, but what was really cool is how it popped the lid off. So it generated all those gases enough to fill it all the way back up to atmospheric pressure and then greater than that and then pop the lid off. <laughs> really cool. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it and you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and leave me any questions or comments or suggestions that you have in the comments section and I'll try to get to them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.